Sauble Beach is a small municipality on the east coast of Lake Huron. Along with its century-old sand dunes, Sauble Beach has always offered a calm, uninterrupted beach experience, making it a popular place for tourists from all over the province. Recently, the topic of safer parking has been number one priority in Council's agenda in efforts to deter town members away from the real issues that Council started. In the last 30 years of beachgoers, there has only been one traffic fatality and it was not caused by this so-called parking issue, with most visitors able to understand the legalities and parking laws. On May 13, 2021, multiple trucks carrying concrete barricades then flooded the town in an order given by Mayor Jackson. It was clear that blocking 70 parking spots would not be taken lightly by local businesses and citizens. With protest signs already appearing on the wall, this signifies how much this operation cost the town, on top of an already hefty list of charges, costing the town over $800,000 in legal fees and fines. I decided to take a walk down to Main Beach in order to get town members' opinions on this issue. Hi, my name's John Strachan. I'm one of the spokespeople for Friends of Sable Beach. Uh, I've got a lot of concern with what's um, going on here seems like the mayor and, and council, I'll just say mayor, who represents council, um, is going to some kind of extreme measures to, uh, to prove a point. And uh, to prove a point, um, because the town wants to put angle parking in here, um, we put a proposal into the town, and a number of people put a proposal for parallel parking. And uh, parallel parking, there's tons of room here, and you wouldn't have to modify anything. Now, the town could do the regular maintenance that they've done over the last 10 or 15 years uh, without damaging the dunes, but they want to go in another, in some spots down here, they want to go in 14 feet, cut the dune. Now the dune is a natural protection for the, for the roads, for the cottages, but especially for saving the beach. With regulatory signs all over the beach, it's hard to blame this issue on a group of tourists rather than the people not enforcing the laws. Meanwhile, other townspeople were worried about the numerous upcoming threats that oncoming traffic imposes to pedestrians walking along the side of the barrier. I'm Jeff. Uh, I'm here in Sauble Beach. Been here since 1981 and I love Sauble Beach. So what are your thoughts on this whole operation? Well, this is just, this is puzzling me. You know, I, they put up this barrier to stop parking. I guess there's not enough parking on this side or but uh, I don't know if I don't know if this is a proper study or anything. You know, is it safe to walk here now? Or I don't think the council around here does the proper studies, and they just carry on with their own experiences, I guess. Yeah, obviously there's a huge issue with uh, if there were any big trucks, even like this one here. Well, how do you think uh, we could overcome this? I don't know how if how you could overcome it now, the work's done. In a recorded file taken at a council meeting, the public is given a better sense of council's stance on the topic, as Councilman Terry Bell states. It is a traffic hazard, these vehicles sticking out, way out of the travel portion of the road. So to me, the primary concern is public safety. And public safety is jeopardized, and I think that to me is, is rational and motivation enough to continue on with what we had planned. Just go ahead with the work. Just go ahead with what we were going to do. With numerous citizens looking past Council's misinformation, many are now looking for a resignation from the Mayor after ignoring alternative solutions and legal advice from various groups, including environmentalists and the local First Nation members and allies. This all leaves town members with one question. Was this safety issue the best use of our tax dollars?